What's up, party people? It's your girl Evie Jo back with another DIY video. Today's video is going to be on these Insta Batty jeans, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you will need is some bell bottom jeans, and then you'll just need a spare pair of jeans to cut up. Okay, so before we actually get started on the pair of jeans, you want to make it, go ahead and make sure you fold them like you're getting ready to iron them. So you're just going to fold them up like you want a sharp crease down the middle of them. It's going to be very important with the measurements and making sure that each slide is equal to the other side of the pant. So right now I'm just going to go in and cut up some slits. I'm just going in, as you can see, and cutting slits. You could do it together or you can do it, you know, pant leg by pant leg. It's totally up to you and how strong you are. Um, but this part right here is kind of just like a freestyle. You just cut however many slits you want. Um, this part is totally up to you. I'm just kind of eyeballing it on what I think will look good. And then after I wash and dry it, I'll pretty much critique it however I really, or fix it up however I really like it. But um, at this point, I'm just freestyling and you're more than welcome to do the same. Okay, so keep your pants in that crease and you want to flip it over to the back. You want to go ahead and cut a triangle out of each side. As you can see here, I have a little triangle piece that I just cut out from the back. This is actually going to make it easier to walk so that you're not tripping over the pants. So this part is very crucial. Make sure you cut the same size triangles on each side. So go ahead and use the first pant that you use as a measuring um, tool or you can just cut them up at the same time to make sure that they're the same size but once again it's very crucial because this allows you to walk in the pants even though they're really long this allows you to walk in them without tripping but go ahead and save this triangle piece because we're going to use this later on Alright, so now you just want to take your spare pair of jeans and you're going to cut pieces out at the bottom. You're just going to cut a rectangle or just cut the bottom of the jeans, a good piece of chunk. You can cut both pant legs at the same time actually because you will need both. But I just cut one at a time, but to make it quicker, just cut both at one time. And then once you actually cut that little chunk, you're going to cut off the actual hem because you don't need that. And then you're going to split it where it is stitched together you're gonna split it so that you can have two pieces so this is actually the front and the back of the pants you need the two pieces for each leg this is why you have to cut both sides of the pants so you'll need two pieces each leg and then we're also going to use that triangle piece that we used earlier you want to make sure that you cut the hem off because you need it to be frayed this is going to show up after we wash and dry the pants so you need to cut the hem off you don't want to use the hem because it's going to stop it it's not going to allow it to fray once you put it in the washer and dryer so that's a very important part. Now you're gonna need some fabric glue. You can use E6000 glue or the generic fabric glue um, at a Walmart. It doesn't matter, they all work to me. Um, but just go ahead and glue down the top piece. Okay, I just used this piece first and I used it and it's in a um, going across the bell bottom. And then I'm gonna take the second piece 
and put it going down the bell bottom. I am overextending these, this piece um, and I'm gonna overextend the triangle piece as you can see um, just to make the pants long. If your bell bottoms are already really long on you then you don't need to overextend it but if it's not very long on you or if it's just right then you will need to overlap it because that is a part of the jean look is for it to be really long in the front and kind of like you know making it look like it's on the ground you know like you're getting ready to trip over it but you're not because you got that triangle piece cut out in the back so that's why as you can see some pieces of the jean is kind of like left off hanging down in the front okay so you're just gonna glue those patches together you're gonna repeat this step on the other jeans as well like I said that's why you could cut the second piece both at the same time off those pants because you're gonna need it once again make sure you cut those hems off because it's very important when you're washing and drying the jeans All right, so you're gonna need your spare of jeans once again. And on this part, you're just gonna cut all the way down the side of the jeans and just cutting off where the actual hem, where the front and the back are sewn together. And you're just gonna take that hem and cut it all the way from the bottom of the jeans to the top of the jeans. If you have really long jeans, um, you can cut this piece before you actually cut the bottom because then that will stop you from having to sew the pieces together like I just did because this is actually making the belt. So in order for the belt to be really long like how it is on the jeans, um, you will have to sew it together um, if you cut it after you cut that bottom chunk. So to save yourself that step, just cut this strand or cut the jeans um, before you actually cut that chunk because remember you're splitting the chunk anyway. Um, so right here, just to secure the belt because I had to connect it, I'm just sewing it up. Um, see, as you can see here, so it's actually glued and sewed. So if she ties it really tight, it won't pop. These are the jeans and the belt after I have washed and dried them and look how good it looks already without me pulling and stretching on it. This is just completely fresh out the dryer. I'm taking the belt and I'm going to loop it in. This is the finished product after I have pulled on the slits. You can see right there that there's a bigger hole um, because I just wanted it to show more thigh meat right there. That's the belt and once again I washed and dried these jeans after I did that. I pulled on the slits and since I didn't put the glue all the way to the top of those patches, those patches were able to fray in the washer and dryer um, on the sides that were left um, unglued. So it pretty much came out perfect, like literally perfect. This is the first time me making these jeans and I loved it. This is me trying on the jeans. These are actually not even mine. I made them for a friend, but they look so good. I had to try them on and get a picture of them. So if you guys like this, I thank you so much. Please stop what you're doing. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, like, and comment. Thank you so much once again. Until the next one, peace.